Hi everybody, in this video I wanted to look at what are, what is the best muzzle attachment for the uh, UMP9 or the UMP uh, sub machine gun. And what we're going to be looking at is the flash hider, compensator and suppressor and you might be quite surprised about the different effects they have on the gun. So we're in the training mode here so that we can you know, track this and I've got two UMPs I've got one with a suppressor um, and one with a compensator. They've both got vertical uh, foregrips, both got extended mags, both got red dots, and then I've got a flash hider in my pocket as well. So, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's start off first with the uh, flash hider. And all we're going to do is we're just going to do a straight... Um, in fact, what we'll do, let's just drop that up so we don't get the confused. We're just going to do a straight fire at this um, piece of uh, concrete, full auto with no, I'm not going to try and control the recoil, let's just see what happens. Okay, so that's with the flash hider. Now let's put the compensator on instead. there and we can do a quick comparison over there. You know there's not that much difference there is there so there's a good argument for um, the flash hider is, is definitely worth putting on. So let's, uh, let's drop this ump and let's pick up this ump. Show it please got everything on it. Yep. Right so let's fire with the suppressor. No control. Ooh. <laughs> there we go. So you can see that although initially it controls it very well, it starts to get away. And I tell you, why don't we do one where we just take off the... We've got no, nothing on the muzzle at all. So let's have a go, see what happens. And as you can see, yeah, that's pretty much similar to the suppressor. So... In terms of controlling recoil, your best options uh, are definitely the compensator and the, um, in terms of muzzle attachments anyway, are the compensator and the flash hider. However, what we'll do next is, just see which, uh, see which one I've got. Right, I've got the suppressor on. Let's just do a little exercise where what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna try and control the recoil from the suppressor. So here we go. So I'm going to push down on the left stick just to control that recoil. Right, let's move over to the compensator. Let's go and have a look. So you can see with a little bit of recoil uh, compensation by pushing down, I managed to keep the suppressor uh, burst uh, spread, if you like, the spread auto spread, pretty small, and the uh, the the bomb obviously where you're trying to control it, the compensator is very 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 small indeed. So it doesn't mean that you shouldn't use a suppressor with the ump. I know you could argue that you know if you're firing a submachine gun, you're going to be close enough to people anyway, <laughs> where they're gonna they're gonna figure out uh, where it is. But when you are using a suppressor, especially it's slightly you know. Um, close to medium range you are going to have to control that control that recoil by putting it down now the other important thing to remember though about the um, uh, suppressor is if we just do it again just reload. notice how that the initial burst is quite well controlled and then it gets away from us see like that that's with no compensation at all so what you might want to do is you want to burst it on full auto so it's like burst stop burst stop burst stop and you can control it that way right so there we go hopefully that quick little guide will give you a better idea of which is the best muzzle attachment for you to use with the UMP personally I always think the advantage of equipping a suppressor overwhelms the disadvantages of the recoil because especially when you're playing solos it's one thing to kill the person in front of you 
which is another thing to do it in such a way that you're not alerting all the other players around you which can happen especially on the smaller map uh, like Sanhok where you, you yeah with a compensator or flash hider yeah you may well get that kill easier than you would with a suppressor but there's a chap who's just over that hill who has heard you who's now coming to investigate whereas if you do a suppressor that sound would have been more muffled and they won't know exactly where you are or they might not have heard you at all and you're going to be free to carry on into the later circles you know to get that chicken dinner but i'll leave the choice for you and by all means come to the test range pick up the guns try the different attachments try the different grips um and you can make a decision for yourself anyway that's enough for me hope you enjoyed the video press like if you did so press subscribe if you want to see more of the same and i'll uh, i'll see you again soon